saying things people already know out loud is tight. About a cadaver. You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey, if you don't stop, I will contact the usher. What's up, everyone? It's Adam from FWCI, Bruce 2, Prank War. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I love a good prank. I'm a white guy who was like in his teens in the 2000s, so uh, I've had my eyebrow shaved off. Um, the, the, the deal was my mates would say we only shave the one eyebrow because then you have to do the other one yourself or you have to make a decision. Do you leave the one eyebrow? I just shaved the other one off and went no eyebrows for a couple of months. They grew back pretty okay. Uh, they look all right to you. I remember a prank my dad <laughs> pulled on my brother. I don't know if this was a prank or if this was just my brother's stupidity, but my dad was making like a cup of tea and he pulled the, uh, the, the spoon out and he like pretended like he was going to put it on my brother's arm and like, you know, like scold him I guess it was, this is what parenting was like in the in the 90s and he's like goes to put it on him my brother's like whoa, whoa, and he starts running away and my dad ends up chasing him around the house for like three straight minutes with this fucking spoon that's now ice cold it was only hot for like one second and um, my idiot brother's still just like petrified of this spoon ah, 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 with the fucking uh, it was <laughs> it was hilarious i don't know if that counts as a prank but oh god that was funny as fuck so we're gonna have a look at bruce Jew's prank war and after this as well you probably saw in the description we're gonna check out some crazy japanese pranks if you've never seen japanese pranks for the love of god stay watching because shit's about to get weird all right since uh, april fool's days and pissing distance i figured i'd talk oh. a little about pranks but more specifically about a prank war between me and a few friends of mine now this prank war all started with a christmas tree it was an old christmas tree that my friend steven had to get rid of now instead of taking it to the curb like most people would he decides to drive over to my house with it he sees my car parked out in the street it's totally unlocked it's looking vulnerable <laughs> and he starts to thinking hey i wonder if this christmas tree would fit in his car so in broad day Daylight, he starts shoving this pine tree into my car. Nobody stops and asks him any questions. Hey, why are you doing that? That looks like a shitty thing to do. No, my roommate Brewer comes out. I have a mate who I can absolutely see doing this. Like, it's scary how similar this kind of activity is to this person that I went through my teenage years with. Outside, right in the middle of all this, and he sees Steven penetrating my car with this pine tree, and he's overjoyed. Because it's not his car after all. He doesn't care. I like what you're doing here. You are giving that car the business. So somehow, Steven manages to squeeze this dead pine tree into my tiny ass Chevy Cavalier, like he's some kind of shitty David Copperfield. And a few <laughs> hours go by, and I walk out to my car, I take one look at it, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute, something's different. I don't remember putting a... Uh, I don't know, what do you reckon of the comments? Do you fuck with people's cars? I don't think I don't think you should be fucking with somebody's car. <laughs> Goddamn pine Too tree far. in my car? Part of me wasn't even mad. You kind of have to be impressed that he actually got the tree to fit. It had to be at the precise angle. His ass had to be out there with a giant protractor or some shit. That's pretty impressive. But I tell you what's not impressive, the 8 million dead pine needles that are scattered throughout my car. They're on the cup holder, on the dashboard. Every time I sit down, <laughs> it feels like a uh, small porcupine's getting shoved up my ass. Now I gotta figure out how to get back at Steven. But before I get back at Steven, I decide to get my revenge. Yeah, prank him. Okay. After all, he could have blew the whistle on this whole operation. He could have at least shot me a text message. Like, hey, dude, there's a Christmas miracle happening outside if you want to come check it out. But no, he didn't do that. So I form a little posse. They have a couple people <laughs> come over, and we decide to try to duct tape Brewer's bed to the ceiling. Now, I don't know if you've ever attempted such an ambitious maneuver, but taping a bed to a ceiling is a little difficult. Yeah, you have man. to have three people standing on chairs, holding the bed up to the ceiling, box spring and all, while one person goes around and tapes everything. We use <laughs> Three rolls of duct tape on this goddamn thing, and it just wouldn't stay. <coughs> God damn it. Well, I guess we're gonna have to use plan B. Plan B was we're just gonna steal his bed and hide it somewhere. And then, since we're so goddamn funny, we're gonna put the a plan. piece of bread where his bed used to be, and then we're gonna drive to his work and leave a note in his car. And the note says, you look tired, go to bread. God damn it, we are comedic <laughs> geniuses. Now, I can only... <laughs> I love a good pun when it comes to a prank like that. That is fucking gold. Imagine the look on his face when he read that weird cryptic ass message that we left in there. You look tired, go to bread. <laughs> what in tarnation does that mean? But I'm sure it made perfect sense when he got home and had to go on a <laughs> shitty little scavenger hunt for his bed. But you bet your ass he did find it because a slice of Wonder Bread makes a shitty place to sleep. Okay, cross Brewer off the list. Right. Now on to Steven. But before 
before I can get back at Steven. For whatever reason, my friend Cody decides to throw his hat in the ring. He wants to get involved in this prank war. So the next day I'm at work making pizzas and Cody shows up and he wants a pizza. So I make him a nice little pizza and I don't even spit in it because I'm a gentleman, what can I say? The person who I was saying before would definitely put a pine fucking tree inside my car. Uh, he used to work at Pizza Slut as well. Because I'm a gentleman, what can I say? But before he leaves, he decides he's gonna go to my car, and he's gonna draw a big old wiener on my back windshield with window chalk. A so classic? A few hours go by, and I leave for work, and I'm totally oblivious. Hell, it's not until I'm in the middle of traffic at a red light when I look in my rearview mirror noticing, <laughs> what in tarnation is that? Oh, man, it's a big dingus. Everybody on the street can see it. People are honking their horns and shit. Hey, that's quite the wiener decal you got there. Ah. Uh, Thank you. I drove all the way home with a wiener on my car, looking like a NASCAR that's sponsored by Wieners Incorporated. Okay, looks like Cody's name's going on the shit list. I call him up in the middle of the night. I'm gonna get you back. You're not gonna know when, and you're not gonna know how, but I'm gonna get you back. You drew a wiener on my car, and you soiled my reputation, goddammit, I'm gonna get you! But Cody was- Why is he gonna- is that one of those chicken tacos on his wall? Cody, a big fan. Oh my god, he's the one who wanted Taco Bell um, in the haunted fucking duplex. Fuck, continuity. Good work, Bruce Jew. It's easy to get back. All I had to do was get some window chalk of my own and write, I drink pee on his bumper right before he'd leave work. I did that sporadically for like a month. I also wrote shit on Brewer's car too because, uh, well, what the hell, why not? Okay, so back to revenge on Steven because after all, he's the one that started this whole bad, goddamn no mess after the 12 days of Christmas in my Cavalier. So me and Brewer are sitting there one night thinking, well, what's worse than drawing a big wiener on his car? How about drawing a thousand tiny wieners on his car? That is a great idea. You are a goddamn genius. So that was the plan. Me, Brewer, his girlfriend and my cousin David were all gonna sneak over to Steven's house at 2 in the morning and by golly we're gonna draw as many wieners as we can on his Ford Contour. So we're out there sneaking around in the dark like SEAL Team Fucking 6 <laughs> markers in hand ready to draw some wieners and there's his car looking vulnerable just like mine was. So we get to wiener drawing. Some of them have smiley faces. Some of them look like they've been hit by a car. Please tell me it is minutes, his car We though. covered every square inch of that car with a phallus. Job well done gang. Let's hit the road. The morning rolls around and Steven's uncle pulls up in front of the house. He's the first one that gets to lay eyes on the uh, Wienermobile parked out front. Oh my god. What kind of shit is my nephew getting himself involved in? He goes inside and tells Steven's mom, Hey, there's a bunch of wieners on your son's car. What? Steve's car, there's a bunch of dicks all over it. Like, like severed dicks? No, no, Jesus Christ, Whoa. they're drawing. Not a bunch of- Steve's oh, mom, oh, calm down. What's mad with you? That morning was the morning that Steven had to get up and scrub a thousand wieners off his car. And I take great pride in that. I feel like that's ample revenge. For Sucks that he didn't drive around in it. Bunch of wieners on your car there. Yeah, I'm aware. Thank you. My favorite part of the story. Is that guy like a retired 70s porn star? He's got no hair and a big mustache. Is that six days later, Steven's at the gas station filling up his car, and he looks over to his gas tank and he sees one little wiener that he missed with a little message that says, insert here. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> BruceDew.com Alright, that was a solid little prank war. I appreciated that. I want to get straight into some Japanese pranks though because, like I say, if you haven't seen these, you are in for quite a fucking journey, man. If you've never seen, like, really full-on Japanese pranks before, please write down in the comments right now what you think is going to happen. Like, how, how bad is it going to be? How crazy is it going to be? Uh, I don't know, maybe that's a big ask. I'm just asking you to, like, fucking think of pranks off the top of your head, but... Trust me, this shit's gonna get fucking wild. Craziest Japanese pranks of all time, eight minutes. Let's do it. I'm sure copyright on this is gonna end up being completely fucked. I know anime people... Um... Hey! Holy shit! Alright, so... Alright, here's, here's what I gather from this. He didn't know that that wall was a breakaway fucking wall. They do that kind of shit where people don't know that something, a part of like the environment is a, is like a, a gimmicked thing that's gonna like break or whatever. Or explode and, or fucking jump out and <laughs> punch him in the dick. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the f- <laughs> That's, a, that's just a straight up a Whoa! 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 Holy fuck!
fuck? Whoa, man. <laughs> okay. I've, I think I've seen this one. Yes. Bows right in the face, bitch. Oh my god. Dude, that's like a gunshot. Square in the fucking mush. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> is this what you're expecting? Well, I mean, that might be. Look at this fucking show. It's like an acid trip. Why is Spider Man coming down? Oh, is that uh, Spider Man? Oh, like the Japanese Spider Man? I got him on the shelf back there. He's from the planet Spider, isn't he? He's a motocross rider. Nah, he doesn't have his wrist thing. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, I see this one too. Yeah, man. <laughs> the horror on these people's faces. Dude, she thought she was just getting in a fucking elevator. And then she plummets like fucking 30 feet into the sludge or whatever the fuck. This. Oh. Mannequin piss activated? Oh my god. <laughs> why, did, why this happened? <laughs> Holy shit. She just pressed it again? <laughs> what? Bazooka flower. Oh, here we go. This guy's gonna plummet to his death as well. I do give him credit for the slow motion camera though. <laughs> They're free falling though. I would... <laughs> Couldn't they like crack their chin or something? <laughs> what is she doing? She looked like she was on fucking ecstasy. <laughs> what? And then they like rate how far they managed to get? Wow. What did is that that guy's asleep? He's asleep! What? No! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? He was asleep! He was fucking asleep! Dude! I don't- What in the shit? What the fuck was that, man? What's that? What's that? What is happening? <laughs> Mannequin? Who's gonna piss on him? <laughs> Explode? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Shit! God, we're back to the comfort zone of somebody getting a fucking cream pie in the fucking face. Yes, I just said that out loud. <laughs> Cheers to you, man. 
続いてのターゲットは矢部太郎矢部太郎Yeah! Oh god! If they don't show it in this video, <laughs> oh fucking hell! <laughs> you know what's funny? He's probably like a claustrophobic person or something, and people think that makes it more hilarious.、Um, there's some of those、um, uh, group pranks. There's one in particular. I will fucking find it if we don't see it on here. It is just spectacular. Yeah, I've seen these ones too. These are great. <laughs> Here comes the money shot. Come on, do it. <laughs> oh, is this guy gonna get shot into fucking space? He's in like a sauna chair. <laughs> Fuck. Is that snow? That's probably not safe, man. Why are they watching cycling? <laughs> That is actually quite fucking clever. These dudes did not. Oh no, they did sell it. Oh shit! They sold the fuck out of it. <laughs> the dude on the far left. <laughs> I wish I knew what these guys were saying. What the fuck is this? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is really old. This is when I I think this was the first place I even saw one of these fucking suits was in this video. He doesn't want to stop just in case. He's like, I can see the legs, but I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Alright, this is the mob prank video that I was talking about before. Oh man, it's it's such low quality, but you get the fucking idea. <laughs> he thinks he's about to get bashed. Oh no. Oh no! <clears throat> This poor unsuspecting motherfucker. So that's right—they sneak up behind him, super fucking quiet. And then they start crowd surfing him for no fucking reason. Fuck! They are throwing him high in the air. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. <laughs> yeah. He's checking for his wallet. What the fuck was that all about? <laughs> Man, that was a lot of fun. Holy shit! I need to watch more Japanese pranks. I think that's the lesson we learned from this video: is I need to watch more Japanese prank videos. Hopefully, they don't get copyrighted to hell. But holy motherfucking shit, that was absolutely insane. That guy was asleep. In his bed, and they fucking shot him into the sky. They had a lion in that guy's face after he got knocked through a fucking wall. Looking at a picture of a lion. What the? Oh my god, my brain hurts from watching that, and I need more. Hook it to my veins. And let me know in the comments what do you guys want to see on the channel? Is it more fucking Japanese pranks? I hope so because that's probably what you're gonna be getting pretty soon. <laughs> Oh, I loved it. It was the best. And as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.